Hi, my name is Solo P1, and today's video is going to be a little bit different to what you're usually seeing um, on my channel. I usually talk about um, F1 racing, which is my passion, and I've been doing that for about a couple of months now. I've been reviewing videos on all the um, F1 events, and but the only thing with the F1, it's it's every two weeks, most of the, most of the time. So it seems like every two weeks I'm uploading a video, but because my channel is not it's not a big channel, I'm just starting out. I want to try and get more content out there. So I was thinking to myself the other day, I should start putting more videos out there, but I need to start talking about something else, not just F1. So I was thinking to myself, WWE. I'm a big passionate fan of wrestling. Always have ever since I was a little kid. Um, I've been to a, a, a lot of live events around um, the UK and I thought to myself, I've, I've, I've met Stone Cold Steve Austin as well. He signed my book. I got a book of Stone Cold Steve Austin, which I'll, sh I'll show you on my channel down the line, which he signed. I've met Kane. I've met the Bella, the Be the Bella Twins. I've met um, Bray Wyatt. I've met loads of them. But anyway, um, I want to start doing more... Um, getting more content out my channel more content out there so i want to start doing um i'm going to start doing wrestling reviews i'm not going to do raw smackdown and nxt what i'm going to do is i'm going to just start doing raw for now see how it goes and and after w and if i start getting good feedback and i get a lot of people saying it's a good show whatever um i, I might down the line start doing more videos I'm wrestling, but for now, I'm just going to start doing um, WWE Raw videos. Because, um, like I said, I've been a wrestling fan for a long time. Um, I grew up watching guys like The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Undertaker, Mick Foley, um, guys like that. Um, but today, obviously, the product, as most of us know, well, in my opinion, it's not as good as it used to be. Actually, it's nowhere near as good as it used to be. There's a lot of podcasts out there. What's slate wrestling? Which I totally agree. You have to be honest. You can't. You can't say the product's good if it's not. And it's something what bothered me with, with this kayfabe thing. It's like you got Nia Jax, the women's, the Raw Women's Champion. Um, when she first came into the WWE, she was a killer. She come in as this killer Samoan bulldozer, and I thought, yeah, this woman's just gonna dominate dominate the women's division not the divas division as it was called before the um the women's division and she finally got a shot she got a shot she um got alexa bliss at wrestlemania beat alexa bliss for the title and now ever since she beat um alexa bliss for the title her a title run i know she's only early in, early into a t title run but for me it's just a disaster that promo that she's done at the end of raw not at the end of WrestleMania when she won that title. And she said, no, he was back last year when she retained the title, when she had her first title defense against um, Alexa Bliss. And and she goes, this is all for the girls that get bullied. I thought to myself, she didn't need to say that. I think the WWE are going too much into this bullying thing. And I think they should try and dial it down a bit. But that's just my opinion. I just think it's too much bullying, this bullying thing. They got this agenda about people getting bullied and you gotta overcome it. We know this already. But it seems like every wrestler they're trying to implement it into them, into their storyline. But anyway, Nia Jax, yeah, um I watched this thing on Raw last week that there was at some press conference in New York. I think it was New York. And um it was Nia Jax was there, um um what's her name? Um the UFC fighter, Ronda Rousey. And you had um, Charlotte Flair. There was they had some segment there, and you had Ronda Rousey talking to Charlotte Flair. And Charlotte Flair was going, "Oh, can you do this? Woo! Can you do this? Woo!" Um, to Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey says, "Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can." And then all of a sudden, Nia Jax turns up with the women's title and says, "Look, I, I, I want to defend my title against you." And then you had Ronda Rousey, which of, to me, they're just the killing her. They got they had Ronda Rousey say, "Oh yeah, the other people deserve it more than me," but thanks anyway. And Nia Jax says, "No, I want you, I want you 
to fight me at uh, Money in the Bank for the Raw Women's title. And she goes, okay. And then Charlotte Fair looks at Ronda Rousey and says, oh, I would, I would. Go on, go on. And Ronda Rousey goes, oh, okay, okay then. And three, four minutes later, after she accepted the challenge for the Raw Women's title, which I think, to me, I don't think she should be going for it yet. I think that she should wait. All of us, three, four minutes after, they've got pictures on Twitter with all of them hugging each other. Stephanie McMahon, Nia Jax, Ronda Rousey, and Charlotte Flair all hugging each other. Where's the kayfabe? This is what's killing the product. The, 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 you expose the wrestlers. You're exposing them. You know, I just don't understand why WWE have to do that. Why can't I just keep things a secret? And maybe the numbers will probably get better. But anyway, that's just my that's just my opinion as a fan looking and watching it every week. I don't think that was just silly. And um to me, the um, that's something they need to sort out. Too you know what I mean, it's K Fabe, man, it's too much. But anyway, they don't they don't care about K Fabe. They just do their own thing because I think people are just going to watch it anyway. Um, yeah, that's it really. Um, it weren't a review on Raw. It's just, I'm just letting you know what I'm going to be doing. Um, for starting from this week, I'm going to be start doing um, reviews on Raw only. And if I get good feedback from it, I'll continue to do it and probably smack down down the line. And NXT. So um follow me on YouTube, solo P1, Twitch solo underscore P1, which I play games a lot on Twitch as well, so look out for them. I'll be stri live streaming. Um I try and do it every day if I can, if I can't. But it's every other day I stream games from the racing games to WWE games, UFC games. I do a mixture of games and you can follow me on Twitter as well and solo P1. Um Thank you very much guys. Bye.